we will put, be putting some of you on trial. And later we shall be putting Shawaddy Waddy on trial. <laughs> now, you are not just making up the accused, you are also the members of the jury. And there's a rather, you know, non-traditional jury, and we are encouraging you to drink, and there are more than 12 of you. But the way, the way we decide uh, the guilt or innocence of the accused is, uh, is thus. Uh, I will ask you to cheer after you think whether they're guilty or whether they're not guilty. So we'll do a sort of test one. Um, so Saddam Hussein. If you think Saddam Hussein was guilty, please cheer now. Yay! And if you think Saddam Hussein was not guilty, please cheer now. Well, you should do, because the, the charge was tax evasion. So you might... <laughs> You must look very closely at the charges. That's important. It's within your remit to look closely at the charges. Now, it's not just going to be me wittering on. We have our uh, learned prosecution and defence counsels. Um, so would you please uh, join with me in welcoming to the stage the prosecution, Miss Deborah Francis White. <laughs> and your defence counsel, Mr Paul Wolfscroft. And now, if you would be so good as to all rise and welcome His Honour, Lord Justice Howard Reed! Excuse me. I didn't say sit down. <laughs> Up. Up. It's very serious. You may sit. Welcome to the court, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to This Is Your Trial. We are going to be, uh, you, you are going to be acting as, as judge. No, I'm judge, aren't I? I'm judge. Uh, you're going to be both the accused and the jury um, of yourselves and of uh, an icon of 1970s rock and roll. Uh, it's, it, this is justice. Justice is uh, marginally short-sighted in one eye for today. Uh, He's not blind, uh, but he has, does have corrective spectacles. Um, you'll see earlier on today, we did uh, try and find guilty several violins, uh, and, <laughs> and they have been punished accordingly. Um, uh, yes, uh, we, we, we have, do we have an, um, um, uh, anyone to, uh, to, to accuse of anything, or do we need... Oh, okay, just... It's very serious. Charge, Your Honour. Right, OK. Um, uh, Mr. Rob Davidson, could you uh, make yourself known to the court, please? Rob Davidson, there please you... Please take the stands up. Might I say he looks guilty, Your Honour? An objection, yes, yes. prejudicial. Actually, I'd like to withdraw that objection. <laughs> uh, I'll swear him in, Your Honour. Uh, could you put your hand on... We haven't got a Bible, so it's Chairman Mao's little red book. <laughs> Um, and could you say, uh, bum? <laughs> bum. He is sworn in, Your Honour. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Rob Davidson, what do you do for a profession? Uh, I'm not so... <laughs> do I have to say? This um, is a court of law, yes, it my is. Lad, may, I, may I briefly address my client? Please try and seem less overtly guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it will go so much better for you. Okay. The, the Official Secrets Act is one um, a mit mitigating circumstance where you could not name your job, but otherwise oh, um, you have to. Okay. Um, I am the proprietor of an independent school. Right. Independent meaning. Proprietor. Ugh. Yes. Uh, do you yeah. mean you are a headmaster? No. I own a private school. You own a private school? I do. You are the landlord of children. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, Mr. Grad Gr um, uh, Davidson, um, <laughs> did a Dickensian reference there. You see what I did? I, did, I didn't go to a Hard school. times, Your Honour. Mr. Thank Grad you, Grind, yes. you were referring to, <laughs> yes. Mix, mix comp. Um, uh, you, uh, Mr. Rob Davidson, are accused of Christine David, but by, by not, you're not accused of Christine <laughs> Davidson. He is accused no. of another person. No, no. Where, Ms. Christine have, you, have you been on the port, Your Honour? I, uh, I yeah, well, I've been on, uh, I, yes, I've been on Const Constantinople. It's not even a port. Uh, no, I've recently um, legalised uh, Class A drugs, but only in my house. <laughs> it's a government experiment. It's going very well. Do you still have a spare room? What? 
Christine Davidson, could you make yourself known to the court, please? You can swear you in from there. Can you say Fanny's? <laughs> She's in, Your Honour. Uh, and what is your relationship to Mr. Rob Davidson? Wife. Wife. Okay. Otherwise, it would have been really coincidental. <laughs> what a surprise. Could have been daughter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Smooth, Your Honour. Smooth. Thank you. <laughs> you are accused, Mr. Rob Davidson, of refusing to dance in public. <laughs> no, the, the, so you're on, you're on a, the, that is the proof of the charge. Yes. The charge is dad dancing. Right. <laughs> I, and the proof is that you refuse to dance in public. Surely that's, that's self... That's, well, let's don't. leave it to them. Okay, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> you are accused of dad dancing. You are a father, are you? I am, sir. Of everyone in the school, or...? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just have a really big house. And, uh, <laughs> Massive, man. Lots of, she looks tired. Um, <laughs> I hand you over to... Uh, uh, we need to ask him how he pleads, Your Honour. Yes, sorry, I've not done this before. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, how do you plead to the... Um, bearing in mind that if you say guilty, then it's really short. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> guilty, Your Honour. <laughs> no, no, it's really short. Hey, hey, pal. Could you have a word Hi, buddy. with your client, please? Um, I don't know if you've been to a court before <laughs> or seen any television, um, but Absolutely. the content comes out what, of there being a dispute. I think what my learned counsel is trying to say is, have you seen Broadchurch? No. Wow! <laughs> no, no I, I haven't. Let's not go any further. I've come halfway through series one. Well, you... <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I literally started watching it. it two days ago. Well, Let's case, not use this as an example. It's so good. Please don't in, use this in, as an example. In that case, Mr. Foxcroft, you had better not piss me off this evening, or there will be spoilers oh, all a... over the place. Oh, man. <laughs> What were we doing? My one weakness. What are you all uh, doing we, in my we, house? We, we can press Olivia on, Your Honour, or we can go to a new charge. Olivia Coleman looks so innocent, doesn't she? Josh. What? <laughs> I'm just saying she looks innocent. No, I'm she, not, she's I'm unlike. not saying she's... <laughs> sorry, Your Honour, I'm withdrawn. The cockroach, sorry. Um, <laughs> guilty or not guilty, preferably not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Yes. <laughs> Sweet move, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Could I hand you over to the counsel for the prosecution? <sighs> You have been accused of dad dancing, Mr. Davidson. Uh, that's, that is true. That is correct, yes. I have been accused of that. Yes. Mr. <laughs> Davidson, you, you say that you were not guilty of dad dancing. Uh, I was advised to, to vote, yes, not you, guilty. You were, you were advised by your counsel. My learned counsel. Yes. yes. <laughs> to plead your innocence here today. Now... Mr. Davidson, just to get us a little bit more context for the jury on how much they hate you, <laughs> could, you uh, could you describe your ownership of children? <laughs> describe how you own the children. What kind of school is this? Uh, it's, a, it's a school for special needs. Oh. Sorry. Objection. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I understand. The, I would, the, I yes, would... I understand. The comedy, comedy gold primary school, Leicester. Yep, yep, useful. <laughs> now, where were you going to go with that? Sorry. What? Well, <laughs> I really want to see where you're going to go with it. Yes, <laughs> it sounded like it was going to be really funny. Yep, yep. They're, they're posh know, special um, needs, though. Does yep. that make it. No. You know, you know. <laughs> You know, uh, you know how the kid keeps on visiting that... Mate, we've been friends for 12 years. Don't do this. No, I'm, just, I'm just saying, when the kid visits Olivia nope. Coleman's husband... Nope. Just, just take note of those scenes, is all I'm saying. <laughs> just take special interest in those scenes. Oh, there's a, there was a shiver of excitement went through the audience. When um, I would like um, all um, references to Broadchurch to be stricken from the record, please. Right. Strike those from your mind, but not yours. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Mr Davidson... You, you own a school? You are the owner of a school. How That's many children correct. are in that school? Uh, 72. 72. Seven, is it an academy? No. No. <laughs> so it's not legal then? Well, you've just set one up on your own and no one knows about it. It is legal. Oh, it, it is legal. Yes. Okay. Yes. I thought it was like a private, one of the private academies. So it's a legal non-academy school. It is. Okay. Yes. All right. Mr. Davidson, how many of your own children do you have? Three. Three? You have three children. What ages are these children, Mr. Davidson? 31. 31? Objection. 29. Don't, 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 that is not a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got three How children. can you, a head teacher, not know the difference between a, a child <laughs> and a fully grown adult? He's, 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 your Honour, 
to be fair, he is not, he's not a head teacher. He is the owner of a school. <laughs> he bought a school from the government. I'm Can you do that? No, I started it. I'm trying I started to get to the it. He started a school. He invented a school. He owns the school. Do you ever go to the school, Mr. Davidson? Yeah, uh, yes, I do. You, you pop by. You pop by. You visit to see just how your real estate investment's getting along and yes. how all the children are going. Lovely, yes. lovely. But your children, you say you have a child who is 31. Uh, my oldest child is 31. Yeah, my, my children don't go to this school. No, well, they, they would be, they would be as, 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 as his honour points out, Far too old to attend this <laughs> That's school. That's very true. It, as, as would... Uh, your, your child is the same age as the clerk of the court, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's my eldest child. Your it? eldest child? I've got two others. Can I say, Mr. Robertson, you... you uh, Mr. Davidson. Davidson. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Davidson. I, I, you, you are certainly guilty of looking much younger than you are. Oh, if your sorry. child is 31, <laughs> how old are you? Unless he had the kid at 11. Well, that's uh, what I'm wondering. Uh, I was a child bride. Wait, wait. No, I was... <laughs> I'm more and more mysterious. 50, 55. You're 55? So yes. you were how old when your child was born? <laughs> 55 minus 31. Yeah, well, I, 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 I did the maths. I just wanted him to say it. Um, so can I just ask where this question is going? We're establishing quite firmly that yes. he is a dad. Yes. yes. <laughs> your Honour, if the I dad knew... dad dancing is I would be very here. pleased, Your Honour, if I knew where the question was going. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, so you have one child who was 31. Yes. Has that child been married? Yes. Was there a wedding? Yes. Was there a disco at that wedding, Mr. Davidson? Unfortunately not. There was not no. a disco at that wedding? No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> was there a second child? A second child? How old is your second child? Yeah. <laughs> How old is your second child? 29. 29. Is that child married? He is. Was there a wedding? Yes. <laughs> was there a disco at that wedding? No. Oh! <laughs> I put it to you <laughs> that there was no disco at either British <laughs> wedding because this man's dad dancing was so appalling that neither child could take the risk. <laughs> Thank you. Please put your hand up if you have had a British wedding. Please keep your hand up if there was any sort of disco bop or musical-like <laughs> situation. So we have not one wedding in the house that didn't have a disco. Could you explain why neither of your children's weddings had discos, Mr. Davidson? Uh, how long have you got? Well, all night, Mr. Davidson. <laughs> no, we, haven't. we haven't got all well, night. Categorically, uh, we haven't no, got all no, night. But really that's a good comedy repost, though, I think. Five -year -old okay, well, my second child was married abroad. Oh, I see. We're using the they don't dance we call in Italy. Them ladies <laughs> now. We all know they do. Estonia. Where was Estonia. Estonia. Estonia, our country famous for its dancing. Folk <laughs> dancers it's not. Yes, it is. Have you not seen the Estonians doing that kind of dance? It's, it's all with the Greek esque situation. I am questioning Greece. why neither child dared have music at their wedding, Mr. Davidson. <laughs> is it because your dancing was so dad like that they did not risk it? Is that possible? <laughs> it's possible, yeah. It is possible! <laughs> possible. Thank you. Um, please. I opening... would say possible and probable. I would say probable and definite. <laughs> Objection. The last, like, minute. <laughs> just the last minute. Just, it's a British just court on, of law, on Mr. Foxcroft. You can't object. Yeah, but we're we... not real lawyers, mate. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just watch American stuff. The last Aaron's... minute to be stricken for everyone's... Yeah. Remember, one sec. Yep, it's gone. Cool. <laughs> That's when I made my best points, Your Honour. No? You said objection, I've got to. <laughs> no, you really do. don't. You really anyway. Don't. <laughs> Even if this was America, you could overrule. Surely. Good times. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I put it to you that this man, this man who is not only an educator but owns educators, this man who invented schools, according <laughs> to my learned colleague, the very reason we have education in this country we have discovered is undeniably a father. Is that correct, sir? It is, sir. Good. <laughs> I feel like I did that really quickly. You did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that a crime, I asked the ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Is it a crime to make children? That's probably not the right... Um, it's probably not the right term. Just consulting the, uh, the yeah. law books, it depends where you do it. In England. Depends where in England. 
A, I think, I think it rather means indoors or outdoors. Yes, I would, uh, we, uh, you can make children, but if you do it in front of other children, for example, then that is, that is illegal. Well, he's not on trial for that. I'm talking about making a joke about having sex. Right. That's what I'm doing. Good. It's not going well. How's that going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think they do it in Leicester. <laughs> they must do. How come there are so many of them? Oh. I may have misheard something you said, and that's backfired. Relevance, Your Honour? None. <laughs> My point, ladies and gentlemen, is this. He is undeniably a father. He cannot be accused of any wrongdoing on that part. Unless, of course, your children are murderers, but that's a separate case. <laughs> Welcome. You do good they just good luck in. with the context. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is absolutely... Now, the, the charge put to us is that this man here, this innocent educator, this saint of your community, dances like a dad. And yet, there is no evidence whatsoever that this man has ever danced. At every wedding he attends, music vanishes. <laughs> like a shadow before a light. Have you, sir, ever danced in public? Unfortunately, yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. What was the style of dancing you prefer to do in public? When have you danced in public? Uh, One instance would do. I don't need a list. <laughs> Uh, last week. No, when was it? Don't. Go you on. don't need help. Come on, you can do this Where on your own. We can't remember. It's a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. You can't remember where. Do you recall the nature yes. of the dance? Yes, I do. What was the nature of that dance? Sal Pass. Salsa dance. Salsa. The Pass. opposite of dad dancing. Can, yes. <laughs> salsa. salsa dance. Sensual. <laughs> erotic. What? Spanish. <laughs> Perhaps I the... think. Perhaps the court could see this dance so oh, the jury no. could make their I own think, mind up. I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've been been loath as I am um, to agree with my learned colleague, the grim inevitability of you dancing the second the dance uh, charge was brought uh, up has um, come to pass. <laughs> we, we need something to compare it to, though. Does any, any other fathers in, in the room? They've all left. <laughs> so it's that man is definitely a dancer. That out man is for father. Yes. Look at him. You're a father, aren't you, sir? Of course you are. Look at sir, you. Could you what's jumper. your name, sir? What's your name, sir? Lee. Lee, could Lee. you come up on the stage, please? Can we Lee? swear in his be... feet? Yes, if we could swear in his feet, that would be lovely. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Mr. Would Davidson, just there will be fine. So what I propose is an experiment where this man dances like a dad and you salsa. You're the control experiment. <laughs> <laughs> and you're... Clark, clerk of the court? <laughs> Mr. Davidson, if you wouldn't mind salsa with the clerk of the court... And if you wouldn't mind just dad dancing. Just dancing in, Lee, if you could just dance in any way you see fit as a father. Uh, my lad, may I requisition a beat? You may, yes, I'm sorry. Great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. No! Oh, but ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I would like to draw your attention to this gentleman here, who danced predominantly using this gesture. <laughs> Classic dad manoeuvre, whereas my client was in full body contact with the clerk of the court for that entire process. Clearly not the actions of a father, I rest my case. <laughs> Round of applause for Lee there for um, helping out with justice. Um, oh, well right, um, so uh, Mr. Rob Davidson, you are charged with dad dancing, and uh, the proof here, it says, is that you refuse to dance in public, which I think we may have just counted there. Um, any very brief uh, summing up um, on either of your parts? Met, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this man is a father by his own admission. You have seen him dance. The only dance a dad can do, surely by definition, is a dad dance. You've seen it with your eyes. You must find him guilty, or the law will be wrong. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you could easily fall into the semantic trap my learned colleague has let you fall into. But are we to be limited by our roles in society? Are we? Is the only kind of dance I can do a fake lawyer dance? No, I aspire <laughs> to greater moves. Is the only kind of dance women can do girl dancing? Bullshit. <laughs> no! Reach for the stars, seek your dreams, acquit this man! <laughs>
very strongly argued cases. Um, one side argues uh, that uh, he does dance like a dad. If, if, if dad dancing is, is an immovable um, thing in our societies, is it possible to uh, do a paternity test uh, by the Boogie Woogie? <laughs> we will not find out today, I'm afraid. And uh, uh, our learned counsel for the defense uh, says the opposite. Uh, Clark, could you please uh, get uh, the uh, jury's decision? Yes, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the jury, it's a very serious case. Please, uh, if you think this man is guilty of dad dancing, please cheer now. And if you think he is not guilty of dad dancing, please cheer now. Yay! <laughs> Unanimous. <laughs> uh, round of applause. Thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Yes, sir. Possibly... Possibly just to, to make up for his, his, uh, the time he's, he's, he's lost out on. Uh, do, do you think we should, we should make uh, Christine uh, the, clerk of the, um, the cold yes. court artist? Yes. We need to appoint a court artist. Um, for bringing a frivolous charge, your sentence is being the court artist. <laughs> it's traditional to start off by drawing me. Please make my moustache look splendid. Um, right, what have we got next? We've got next on the, on the charge sheet. We have, um, okay, this is very serious. Is, is Nicole Clough uh, in the room, please? Nicole Clough. Clough. Nicole Clough. <laughs> Nicole Clough. I mean, at this point, anybody called Nicole? Is there no Nicole Clough? But well, that was a shame. She was a cute. Where, 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 where is Sheila Connolly? They're not here. They, they they've clearly in charges and not come into the show. They've <laughs> clearly absconded. Uh, obviously guilty of having a wee in a shower while I was still in it. <laughs> not me, by the way. Uh, I've just read that properly. That was a too late. Anyway. Um, have we got another charge? Yep, there we go. Oh, yes, we have. Okay, right. Um, this is Michelle. Is Michelle here? Michelle just, just, just emptied the contents of her nose down her front <laughs> by the sound of it. Uh, you are accused by Leslie. That is Leslie there. Okay. Um, uh, Michelle, could you please uh, take the stand? <laughs> okay, Michelle, can you put one hand on Mousel's red book? And the other on my hand, and say, I do. I do. We're married now. <laughs> well, um, Leslie, uh, you are accused by um, Leslie, Michelle, beg your pardon, uh, Le of looking in shop windows <laughs> for naked male mannequins <laughs> with big lunch boxes. <laughs> The proof here is cited that she made us go back past the shop. <laughs> How many times? Did Five. Oh, it's only three. Three times. Three times. We walked past the just eyeing up, ogling, <laughs> plastic cocks. <laughs> right. Well, this is this is uh, this is a heinous charge. Possibly an heinous charge as well. If you look around the back. Um, I, I, I hand you over to the counsel for the prosecution. <laughs> How do you plead first? Yes, that would be a good idea, yes. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> and Again, uh, oh, lad, if I may really. have a word with uh, another of my clients <laughs> who, let's face it, witnessed the last time this happened, <laughs> was in fact the nearest person in the room. <laughs> if you plead guilty, there's no show. <laughs> These are very, very well-trained lawyers. You are, they, you are they not could obligated get you to off, not even if you are. Yes, no, I don't want to force you into that. You can go guilty if you want, but there is no show. If you please. <laughs> so, Michelle, could you say your full name for the for the record, please? Michelle Goldring. Goldring. Yes. Gold <laughs> rink. Yes. Ring. Gold, Gold ring. 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 Yes. As in five. In. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Clerk of the Court. Leslie, could you say your full name for the court, please? I was so hoping it would be Leslie Calling Birds. <laughs> <laughs> Claire French, hence Tom Turtle Dove. Pullen? Pullen. Gold Ring Pullen. Hmm. Is this a novelty coat? I would watch or... that TV show. <laughs> now, 
Miss Goldring. Yes. You have been accused of looking in shop windows for naked male mannequins to see if they have big lunch boxes. Is this correct? Yes. <laughs> now, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Goldring, how often would you say you are allowed out into the streets? Not, <laughs> not, <very> often. <laughs> not often. No. No, I wouldn't have thought. But on but, average, once a week, perhaps a day out, a day yes, pass? Yeah, yeah. And you, you walk down an average Leicester High Street? No, because I'll come from Sheffield. Right, an average, <laughs> an average Sheffield High Street. You, you wander the streets yes. when, when, when permitted. Yes. Do you enjoy a built-up area? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> and uh, of the shops, would you say you prefer the fashion shops to the perhaps electrical goods variety? Yes. You what about ones that sell hoovers? <laughs> ones that sell what, Your Honour? Hoovers. Hoovers? Yes. I like Hoovers as well. Yeah. As well, perhaps. <laughs> I'm I fear, to Your Honour, I fear, Your Honour, you're getting, you're getting uh, the accused into more trouble than they originally came in, or, or the charge they came in on. Are you, are you extending the charge? I was wondering if your, your, your obsession with the male genitalia extended to the, 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 to the, the hoses the on, a, <laughs> on a Dyson. <laughs> Your, your Honour, I, even I have to admit that that's prejudicial. <laughs> so, Miss Goldring, yeah. as, you, as you occasionally walk past such a fashion shop, a sort of a new look, a next, do you ever glance into the window? Often, yeah. But do you're you... not always naked. <laughs> no. Can I just make one? Um, you're naked when you walk down the street, then. The mannequins. Uh, ob objection. My client is just gloriously <laughs> self-incriminating. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Mr. Would you like everything let she's... her speak freely. When, uh, I can just you... cancel my client to respond to the question posed to her and not add extra <laughs> confessions. Do you... That would be super cool. Do you, uh, do you prefer the female section of the next window or the male section of the next window? Female. <laughs> Again, my, if my client could not I shake her head that. vigorously left to right while apparently answering in the positive. I did. She might be bi mannequin curious. <laughs> well, certainly, I think she prefers a mannequin to a womanikin. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Goldring? Yeah. How often do you, uh, do you pause in front of a male mannequin? Not very often. Not very often. No. So, in other words, sometimes. Not very often, but often. <laughs> often <Yes>. enough. <laughs> and when you do, and you flick your eyes up and down, do you, do you find your eyes being drawn to any section of the mannequin? Even if it is not always naked? No, not really. <laughs> Miss Goldring. <laughs> Miss Goldring. Your, your, your clear guilt, as you are unable to look me or this jury in the eye, is evident to all. I put it to you, not only are you interested in the lunchbox area of the mannequins of Sheffield, I put it to you that you've been having a long-term relationship with a mannequin called Patrick <laughs> from, from the Moss Bros uh, High Street branch, a okay. rental mannequin, demonstrating a tuxedo that has taken on and off daily for some months. I put it to you that you have him down as your boyfriend on your Facebook profile. Um, I put it to you that you and Henry are in a relationship which you describe as it's complicated. <laughs> but it isn't complicated, is it, Miss Goldring? It isn't complicated at all. You have been lusting after Henry, although he has Patrick. not once... Patrick, although he has not <laughs> once done anything to return that affection. And in fact, you've had an eye for Henry on the side, which has pissed Patrick off. No end. <laughs> Is this not the case? No. Ah! <laughs> and yet she shook her head from side to side to side. We as need if, to move as if on. As if, to, something. as if to say, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I leave it to you to decide. We need to move on to the um, counsel for the defence, and, uh, and if right. you could move on to um, answering questions in an incriminating manner, that would help to balance things up a little. Now, Michelle. Michelle? <laughs> 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 
Well, I mean, that's made my case for me. We saw here the clerk of the court valiantly striking the classic mannequin pose. If we get together again, please, Mr. Clark. And Michelle's instinct was to look at him directly in the Perfect. eye and then burst out laughing. Signaling no sexual desire. In fact, the opposite of sexual desire. I don't know, ladies, if you've ever been faced with an object of sexual interest in you, but laughing at it is the opposite <laughs> of being interested. Have you been to the Chippendales, Mr. Foxcroft? No. There is only laughter. <laughs> laughter and lunchboxes. That might as well be the logline of the fucking show. <laughs> it makes it sound like a nice picnic. <laughs> well, I'm afraid it's no string fellows for us. I'm afraid, Mr. Foxcroft, I take my clothes off for you, it's porn. You take your clothes off for me, it's comedy. <laughs> you, you, you applaud, but that's my Edinburgh hour sorted. Um, now, Michelle, it's been put to you that you are carrying on a relationship with an imaginary mannequin called Patrick, while also having it away with an equally imaginary mannequin slash Hoover called Henry. <laughs> Are you willing to refute that claim? <laughs> refute means deny. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to rephrase. Is what I said bullshit? Yes. <laughs> Good. Into the microphone if you would. Yes. Yes what? Yes it's what? Bullshit. Good. I just, I just wanted to see if I could make you swear. <laughs> um, see, my, my case is this. Um, you are aware of male mannequins. You've seen them. Uh, we all have seen them, yes? It's not an uncommon thing. We've seen male mannequins. Um, now, in my experience, limited as it was, I have worked in retail in the past. Um, they have no, what's the word? Cocks. These um, ones did. Uh, <laughs> right, I, I think... Jury will <laughs> note. Yes, that was reasonably incriminating, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> yep, you know what? She Fuck checked it. three times. Um, <laughs> I, we're we're going to have to move on with this because we need to. We want to try and get another uh, case in before. Uh, Were you case. sexually interested in the inanimate cock-based objects? <laughs> what? The mannequins with cocks that we've established they had cocks. Were you interested in those dicks? <laughs> I just thought it were really funny. <laughs> so no. <laughs> Um, we do need to move this along. Yeah, um, I I'm not winning this. <laughs> that is, okay, I feel um, like that's not on me. Just, just... <laughs> just Arrest for, a case. <laughs> just for uh, clarity, um, at the moment there are a lot of gender switch remakes of 1980s American comedies going on, uh, like... Um, uh, uh, Ghostbusters, 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 you're Ghostbusters and the like. Um, are they remaking the 1980s uh, film Mannequin? <laughs> in a gender switch, uh, you know, nothing's going to stop us now. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still, you know, mannequin, we'll still have each other. Nothing's going to stop us. Nothing's going to stop us. Do you need Ooh. your pills, Your Honour? <laughs> yes, I mean. I, I... Um, guilty or not guilty of uh, looking at plastic men's plastic cocks? Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe this woman is guilty of the charge, please cheer now. <laughs> Oh, it's not looking good for you, is it? If you think she's not guilty, please cheer now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up in? I I think a fellow mannequin lover. <laughs> you guys should hang out, but not of a mannequin. Um, uh, right, uh, you are clearly guilty of ogling uh, mannequins. Uh, you are uh, charged with co collecting the glasses in the courtroom, please. Uh, please go from this place to uh, there, that place, and pick up some glasses on the way. Round of applause to uh, Michelle. Take a minute. Right, we need a very quick trial here before we get into our final uh, main case of the day. Uh, would um, Gail Talbot please uh, make herself known? Gail Talbot, accu accused by one Christian Talbot of snoring. <laughs> we need a speed trial here. The evidence that's been put to us is that there's two separate bedrooms involved in the sleeping arrangements. Um, uh, uh, Gail, how do you plead? And would you please be sworn in? So Not twat. guilty. Twat. Twat! <laughs> <laughs> 
Plead guilty or not guilty to the uh, ch charge of snoring? Not guilty. Not guilty, please. Um, very quick, I'm going to limit this to two minutes uh, per opening statement. Uh, the charge of snoring to uh, um, counsel for the prosecution. Mrs. Talbot, are you ever awake when you are asleep? <laughs> <laughs> not that I can recall. So how would you know whether or not you were snoring when you were awake? I would assume that I would have complaints. You would assume that you would have complaints. Mrs. Talbot, you sit here today <laughs> accused in a court of law. So heroic is this snoring, a medical term, that, you said that your husband has felt the need to bring you to a court of law to accuse you in front of strangers. Most people would call that a complaint. What would you call it, Mrs. Talbot? I don't sleep with my husband. <laughs> Boom! And why is it that you do not sleep with your husband, Mrs. Talbot? Because we have a really big house. I see. That's a way to ingratiate yourself to the court. Um, <laughs> you, have, you have one minute, Learned Counsel. One of the luxuries of a large house, meaning you do not need to see your spouse. That's correct. <laughs> so you are implying, Mrs. Talbot, that it is your choice to sleep in another room. Absolutely. You were saying this with such impish eyes, Mrs. Talbot. I simply must ask, are you were sleeping alone in this second room? I don't think that's relevant. Oh, yeah. You don't raise the relevant! Oh. Boom! High five! I'm afraid it is not for the defendant to decide what is relevant. 30 seconds, but for the But for, for, for his honour, is this relevant? 30 seconds is yes. 30 seconds is relevant. <laughs> Mr. Talbot, can I ask you... Hang on. Stand up, sir. Stand up. Mr. Talbot. Say balls. Oh. Raise it. Mr. Talbot, do you have any recording of said snoring? I believe you have some recording of said snoring, Mr. Talbot. <laughs> please submit said recording into evidence so could we can please, all enjoy it. Could you please press the button in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> we have heard the snoring. <laughs> I admit this tape into evidence and I rest my and everybody's case. <laughs> Counsel for the defence. Miss Talbot, do you snore? No. Cool. <laughs> if I may submit into an evidence a recording of uh, her husband. Certainly. I'll just simply begin that now. Oh, hi, it's me, Christian. I'm a liar. <laughs> a Scottish liar. Also, I did all the crimes. Excuse me, Chris. Come here, Mr. Talbot, stand up. Say in your finest accent. Something about leprechauns. Asher, to be sure, to be sure. He's not even doing his own voice. He's not. How can we trust that man's word on anything? He is not Scottish, he's Irish. You oh, idiot. It's me, Christian Talbot. I'm Scotsman from Fife. <laughs> Damned by his own words, ladies and gentlemen. This woman, the only one who's been able to successfully not incriminate herself on the stand, is clearly innocent. Even the most innocent man in the world basically tried to hang himself. Look at her. Look at her. She clearly doesn't snore. She sleeps far away from her husband. Even if she did, it wouldn't matter, and she doesn't. She's innocent. God, she's funny. I like her. Let her off. Yes, um... Right, an open a cut and shut case. Um, uh, does she sleep in a different room because she uh, snores and her husband can't sleep, or because she's having an extra matter of the fair, possibly with counsel for the prosecution defence? Um, <laughs> Not yet, but the night's young. Okay. Uh, I've got an open return. You've got an open return? A... Is that what we're calling it these days, Mr. Foxcroft? <laughs> I think we need a quick decision so on this. Just so there's no clarity, I am referring, of course, to my penis. An open return. <laughs> that was clear to everybody, Mr. Foxcroft. You speak of little else. It's definitely clear to this lady here. She's been looking at it all night. Um, <laughs> it's almost as if you're a mannequin. <laughs> Clark, can we please get a decision on this from the jury? Ladies and gentlemen of the court, please cheer. If you think this woman is guilty of the charge of snoring, if you think she's guilty, please cheer now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah I'm Christian Talbot. Try to get sort of at the same time. Um, <laughs> if, if, you, if, the, um, if the jury could just attempt to give a shit, uh, <laughs> that would make this much more fun. If you believe this woman is guilty, please cheer now. Yeah. If you believe she's not guilty, please cheer now. Yeah. Not guilty! Yeah. Acquitted, you may return so, to your seat and your miserable life. Uh,
does not snore. Okay, well, we have one more. Um, we one have one more uh, plaintiff uh, today, and uh, do we know what they're accused of? Oh, should we get them up, up, up first? There's a number. Yes, certainly. Uh, the accused uh, is uh, is. Uh, we're very lucky to have um, be trying this case because it usually goes straight to the the showbiz court of justice. Um, uh, we are um, acu the accused is Mr. Dave Bartram from uh, formerly of Shawadi Wadi. Um, yeah. We have a round of applause for Mr. Dave Bartram. Please, could take the stand. Uh, I swear him in your honour. He's, he's brought his own book, I see. Oh, good. What's, uh, what's, what's that book called? It's called All Mapped Out, Your Honour. And is it... Uh, obviously, we usually swear on the good it's... book, but should we just swear on a really good book? It is brilliant. <laughs> OK. If you'd like to pl place your hand on your own book... the contract. Is there and here? say, oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. In a court of law? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. He's in. OK. <laughs> Right. Right. Mr. Dave Bart Bart Bartram of Show Waddy Waddy, they've come for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty open and shut case, isn't it? <laughs> Wasn't. Uh, okay, right. Uh, <laughs> two. It, there are two accusations here. Um, one uh, is uh, from Mr. Lee Middleton. Is Mr. Lee Middleton here? Mr. Lee Middleton. Uh, we've met Lee Middleton. He's a father, you know, and he, God, he can dance. Um, <laughs> Lee, um, what, do, what is your profession? What is your profession? I'm sorry if you can't understand me with my PA system. A stock control manager, so in charge of a crazy... A stock control manager. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, it's probably all the, all the Goxo cubes in his ears. Um, uh, he is accusing you of having two drummers for no apparent reason. <laughs> and uh, uh, the... Um, uh, le 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 Leslie... The, the accuser is Michelle, Leslie and Megan. Uh, you're accused of leading them astray. No, 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 no. no. This what? What? Is that one? God, this is complicated. It's using sausages and socks down the front of their trousers to cause mass hysteria for youngsters. <laughs> Which I think is covering leading Guilty. me astray as well, I think. <laughs> so two, two um, accusations, stuffing things down the front of your trousers uh, to, make, to, to make this lady stare at you, I imagine. Uh, <laughs> were you a fan of Shawadi Wadi? Are you a fan of Shawadi Wadi? Yes. Um, how, 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 do you, how do you plead to the first charge of having uh, two drummers for no apparent reason? That's a tough one. Did you have two drummers? We did have, well, no, we had one and a half. Was one of them from Def Leppard? <laughs> <laughs> Move from mistrial. <laughs> uh, one and a half, okay. So how do you plead? Um, not guilty. Not, not guilty. guilty. Uh, and, uh, um, and for having sausages and socks down your trousers uh, for to causing mass chaos and hysteria. Is this directed to me personally? That is directed to you, you personally. You are representing you the whole band of Definitely this. not guilty. Not guilty. No. Oh. <laughs> Hand you over to uh, the counsel for the prosecution, please. <laughs> Mr. Middleton, could you rise, please? Mr. Middleton, you accuse Mr. Bartram of having two drummers. Now... Do you say that Mr. Bartram had two drummers at one time? Accuse me of having two drummers. I mean, it, it was the 1970s. He wouldn't have been the only one. <laughs> two drummers at one time. And how old were you when you saw this, this spectacle, this sight? Phenomenon. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bartram. Could the word phenomenon be entered into the records, please? Not yet born in the 1970s. You weren't born in the 1970s. You, were, you weren't born in the 1970s. I'm so sorry. There was another ship. You were born in apparently 1912. You were born... I asked that these two men come up to the front. One of them apparently is Victorian and the other one was born yesterday and yet they look identical. Could you please stand up, sir? Please stand up. Turn around so that this, this jury can see both of you. Are you claiming to be different ages? Because if you are, one of you is lying. <laughs> Would you tell us your, your birth date, please? Mr. Middleton, when were you born? The 27th of May, 1980. You were born when makes me three years older than you? I look! <laughs> I'm two months older than you. What have you done to yourself? I mean, a top top has lived a hard life. Seriously, seriously, I, mean, I need to know what you do so I never do it. <laughs> you were born in 1982. I've ravaged myself and I look like this. He really has. He really look has. Look at this grey. Look at this grey. Very hard of you. 
Not too soon, not too So 2000, no, no, no. so you're, you're saying you're 33, 33, 34, the same age as Jesus. <laughs> and apparently just as wise. <laughs> um, so uh, are, are these people related to you who sit next to you? Who is this young man here? <laughs> is he really your I think brother? we should hold him in contempt, Your Honour. Oh, my goodness. This, sorry. I think this, this man is telling but... lies. If you are only 33, how are you so well acquainted with the many and various drummers of Shawaddy Waddy? Video technology. You spent your childhood in the 80s watching back catalogue Top of the Pops. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Mr. No Middleton, then, isn't it? how did you... How did you feel when you first saw the two drummers in Shawadi Wadi? Did you feel confused? Conflicted? Awkward as a child? Would you say that it stunted your ability to socialise normally with other children? <laughs> yes, it, well, that's, that's a matter for the court to decide. Thank you, Mr. What's Middleton. Going on? Mr. Bartram, you have heard from the... You may certainly... You have heard... From the prematurely aged <laughs> Mr. Middleton. Mr. Middleton was a very young looking child, an angel child. But then he saw your two drummers. He saw your so unnecessary amount of drummers. He got lured in by this, became addicted to the sight of it, wasn't able to go to school, automatically began ha having to drink at a young age 10, 11, 12. Have you started got, have drinking. You got the tissue. The, <laughs> It's not the time for that kind of behaviour, Mr. Bartram. <laughs> 10, 11, 12 started to take something out of his mother's whiskey cabinet. Yeah. Until eventually, so <laughs> terrifying was the sight of your two drummers, your unnecessary... Sorry, which, which, which case are we, are we, um, no, which, absolutely which case are we, we trying The here? one with the two drummers, Your Honour. I uh, think we... That's not a euphemism for anything. <laughs> I mean, well, it is now. It, it can be if you'd like okay. it to be, Your Honour, if it's going to help me win. You are absolutely right. The two drummers were terrifying to look at. Mate. Oh. Could you give us a name? Mr Bartram. Could you just Why were they terrifying to look at in your opinion? Uh, if you actually focus on the two drummers, yeah, they were quite terrifying. So everyone used to look at the pretty boy, which was myself. Could you give us the names? <laughs> Could you give us the names of the in two drummers, days. please? The names of the two drummers in Show Wody Wody. Uh, yes, you, you like this one, don't you? I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Romeo Challenger. Fucking brilliant. Was, was the Romeo Challenger? Romeo Challenger. Yeah. Was the uh, no one else is impressed the, by that name? That's the best the name in the world. And the, and the other drummer. And what was, who was the other drummer? The half drummer. Uh, that wasn't the half drummer. The little what, drummer wait, boy. What's the half drummer, Mr. Bartram? Please explain yourself. Oh, no, I wouldn't care to go into that. Well, it's Mr. Just, Bartram, you're in a court, court of law. Court of law. What you would care to go into is irrelevant. It's not relevant. He wasn't, it... he wasn't a very good drummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Ringo. So you had one good drummer and one Ringo. We see. Mr. Bartram. It, it was nowhere near as good as Ringo. <laughs> Mr. Ringo was a very good drummer. You obviously don't know much about music. <gasps> oh, snap! Mr. Shots fired, y'all! I'd just like to work at, um, he didn't, he did. <laughs> <laughs> um, Malad, could I requisition a Z-snap from the court, please? I don't Mr. know what Bartram, <laughs> you're, by your own admission, you had one good drummer and one bad drummer, therefore one unnecessary drummer, one drummer too many. This child, who went from innocence to confusion to alcoholism to heroin addiction, who now sits, ahead, now sits prematurely aged in front of you due to the spiral that your drummers caused. It's actually, it's all in the book, all mapped out. Yes, we understand. <laughs> the match of choice is in the fire. Council, we need to address the second charge before we move on to the, the case for the defence. And the second charge, the second charge, just to be clear. Sausages and socks down the front of the trousers causing mass hysteria in youth. Thank you, Clerk of the Court. This is why no we worry. have you. Admin, this is what the youth looks like now. And Mr. We've seen what they're... Sausages and socks. Mr. Bartram. Have you never heard of a cock piece? No, but you clearly have. Please explain. <laughs> well, I, I used to have to give the float to the boys to buy their cod pieces. You used to have to give float to the float boys. Float to the boys to go out <laughs> so and buy. So they would buy their cod pieces. In other words, you paid out of your own pocket, not no, just not for your own, my own penis. Pocket. No, it wasn't out of my own pocket. The float. My the sh the shawaddy waddy float, <laughs> which was in fact a euphemism for one of the fake fallacies. <laughs> What were the names of the rest? 
<laughs> the, well, the, the, the rest they, of the fallacies. The, yes, I believe one of them was called uh, the, the bump, bump baguette. <laughs> one of them was called three steps to heaven. <laughs> I believe one was something known as the long walk. Well, one was... I think some people were subjective to what we found under the moon of love. Well, it, it's round the side from the moon. <laughs> Depends where the... It's a blue moon. Where the moon's being... All I have to if say... If the moon's out the window of a car, then it's directly underneath. Mm. All I have to say, Mr Bartram, is I wonder why. Oh. I wonder why you felt the need <laughs> when your band was peering on top of the pops for underage children... You've got pretty why little you've, angel eyes. Why you felt the need... <laughs> what was that, Mr Bartram? You've got pretty little angel eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bartram, are you attempting to seduce the court? <laughs> because if you are... Because, well, because it didn't work in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bartram, He's got a point. I never mix business with pleasure, but I'll be off at 7.30. <laughs> Mr. Bartram, you of your own volition have said that you paid, or Shawadi Wadi paid for fake phalluses, and yet you were on top of the pops, no, watched by under-16s. I mean, I know that there were worse things that happened in the 70s, <laughs> but that doesn't excuse this one. Pointing to his honour no, is it's not going to get you out of a tight spot. No, it's, 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 I, it's, it's, it's a new Jimmy Savile. To be fair, it's a dead, I, dead ringer for Jimmy Savile, isn't like, he? <laughs> That is, I, I, unlike, I, I did happen in the 70s, uh, but by the time I was, I was uh, re reached my prime for that sort of activity, all the paedophiles were just shattered. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't fuck another thing. Your Honour, Your Honour, Your Honour, I'm, I, I'm, I must ask you to stop in case you incriminate yourself in your own court of law. Yes. I'll plead Mr. the fifth Bartram, the rest of this show. Mr Bartram, can, can I just ask no comment. His Honour just to try and say... Sure, what they, what they. <laughs> Would you indulge Actually, the we go accused, Mi Your Honour, would you indulge the accused? Sure, what they, what they. <laughs> Are you happy now, Mr Bartram? <laughs> I'll just point out a, we, a very I'm, strange I'm, thing happened I'm to the very jury there. Now, actually. Which is a ripple of pleasure and contempt to ripple through the room simultaneously. Not contempt of oh. court, contempt in court. Yes. <laughs> It is you, ladies, indeed, the mannequin three, who, who brought this charge, is it not? Yes. How old were you at the time of this top of the popsing going on? 16, 17. Thank and God were that. your were your <laughs> <laughs> And were your were your barely legal loins aroused by this sight? Do you is it possible? that your interest in the lunch boxes of mannequins <laughs> was begun right here in your psychosis and inability to hold down a normal relationship. Now finding yourself having to date a series of men in shop windows is down to this. The psychological damage you have done to the children of the 70s and 80s. How can you sit there, Mr. Bartram, and accept it? Because the shop window thing has only occurred since I left the band. <laughs> All we will be seeing in a All shop window. In here anyway. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Council will need to move on to the dispatch, out. Please. You will not be there to sign the books because you will be behind bars. I say to this jury tonight, if you find Mr. Bartram innocent, you find the whole of the 1970s innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and be that on your conscience. <laughs> Moving on Very to... Very well. I shall address the these charges in the order which they were brought. You wouldn't First of all... wouldn't believe he's a scouser, would you? <laughs> I do spend a lot of time in court. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a scouser at university? <laughs> Me. I did one. I did one. Um, right. The first charge was that you were accused of having two drummers for no good reason, I believe. Apparent. Was the... apparent. 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 apparent reason. Apparent reason. Um, Alleged. I didn't write your surname down. Is it Lee? Do I, do I call you Lee? Yes. I put it to you that it's hardly my client's fault that you're some kind of reverse Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> Aging according to the rules we usually apply to dogs. <laughs> Seven years for every human year. I can only imagine... In a bit, but it's entirely possible by the time this evening is over you shall simply become dust. <laughs> 
Should we get a cab? Yeah. <laughs> Where did he go? Is this necessary or not? Just because. Don't bring unnecessary, that... Miss 15 Minute Setup. <laughs> Just because this that's We've got to finish at half seven. Order, order, order. The next round, we're nearly finished. That sounded like two well, drummers. <laughs> my point here is that my client is no more responsible for your inexplicable aging than the sun, which I assume you don't spend a particularly large amount of time in. Thank you, I assume, my lud. <laughs> Now, you've mentioned yourself, you had one good drummer and one shit drummer. Maths simply tells us that Shawadi Wadi had one average drummer. <laughs> I rest my case. Now, the second charge that you were accused of placing sausages and socks down your... Trousers. Trousers, I believe this word is, causing mass hysteria... In the youth. In the youth. It wasn't actually much room. In the trousers. Oh, to we're going. We're getting there. Yeah. Now, I put it to you that the reason you were doing this was not your, in your intent is not to cause mass hysteria. Your intent is fact. This is a crime of necessity. We have seen, as my able comrade has mentioned, the mannequin three. All of them zeroing in like hawks on the crotch of this man as if it was a mouse in an open field. <laughs> Look at them. They're looking right at it now. That's why his book's there. Um, a just... matter of necessity dictates this man had to shield himself in the 70s from these women who were confessedly of age. Um, I, I think this, the ogling coming from the front row... Excuse me, uh, Gordon, the ogling coming from the front row is distracting the jury. Could, um, could the, the, you draw your attention to this picture here? We have uh, the young Dave Bartram. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, look at that picture. I can assuredly tell you that at the time that picture was taken, there was nearly a sock or a sausage in sight. I put it to you, there is no fucking room for extra equipment down there. This man is hung like a battleship. <laughs> Anything that was placed in there was simply a matter of self-defense against the likes of you. The kind of women who are forced now to glare into the windows of shops, looking at, looking at suspended fictional penises, the methadone to this man's heroin. Hang on, that's, that's not fictional. No, I'm saying that's real. Yes, absolutely. That was that the entire case hinges on that. <laughs> you just, you just want to show them again. <laughs> I just want to face it the other fucking direction. I can't look at it anymore. Oh, there we are. that is that leaves nothing to the imagination. That is. <laughs> just in, in the interest it's, of it's, science, my lord, I would like to sort of brief bollocks. experiment in front of the court, if I may. <laughs> it's all bollocks. That's, <laughs> that is shawaddy waddy with bells on what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen is those ladies are to this man's crotch what the velociraptors are to Robert Muldoon in the original Jurassic Park <laughs> clever, clever bells <laughs> <laughs> this man is the victim if you, if you, you honestly cannot send this man down for being surprising the world don't don't use that I'm phrase. frankly proud of it or well, any of us would do the same if only we had the means. Could I ask your honour that if Mr. Bartram wants to show his innocence once and for all, that he should show his innocence? <laughs> let us compare um, his boxers, his, let us compare his boxer shorts to that picture. I'm uh, Milan, I think in the, of of de in the interest of decency, We'd like, like to see the pillar. We'd like to see that pillar of society. Milad, uh, <laughs> Milad, in the interest of decency, I think it's only, it only fair in my client's defence that he be he only forced to expose himself to a small number of the court, say three individuals <laughs> selected at random. I think one of them may I mean, I'm sure there are some authorities on the yes. matter in the <laughs> I, I, I think in the interest of public health, <laughs> we, we might cause insanity and I further think hysteria. Possibly it might be. It I, might, re uh, I realise this is referring back to the 70s, but I'm not showing anything to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Very much the stance of many of your peers from that stage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, one final question for my client, if I may. Uh, we, we, we will. Uh, how uh, much is the book and where can one purchase it? <laughs> it is uh, available on Amazon, uh, all good bookstores, or direct from the publishers. A little more expensive direct from the publishers at 19 99 but it is a quality product, as you can see. It's, uh, it features every city in the United Kingdom. It features Sheffield. It features Leicester, which is rather a contentious chapter, but you'll have to buy it to find out. Um, <laughs> 
and it features, as I say, it features Douglas in the, in the Isle of Man, which is not technically uh, a city of the United Kingdom. It, it is a crown dependency. And yet you are still generous enough to include it in your book. <laughs> a magnanimous <laughs> man, ladies and gentlemen. A philanthropist. A man who legitimately once, re once saved somebody from a coma by touching them. Absolutely true. Not, not the only well, celebrity the from the seventies to have tried um, that. We are running out of time. Can we have a very, very brief uh, thirty-second summing up, and then we need to? Uh, do, we, do we need one of those? Or nah. Possibly not. Um, uh, right. We need to uh, ascertain whether this gentleman is guilty of having two drummers for no apparent reason. Yes, the first and charge. Whether the stuff that we saw in that picture is from the delicatessen or from God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, jury, do you think that this man, this man here, with his top off? is guilty of the charge of having two drummers for no apparent reason. If you believe he's guilty, please cheer now. Yeah. Yeah. If you believe he's not guilty, please cheer now. Yeah. Oh, he's guilty of that guilty one. Guilty of that. the first charge. And the second charge. Of... I'm, I'm not guilty of that one, am I? Yeah. And the second charge of putting socks and sausages... <laughs> 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 putting socks and sausages down his trousers and causing mass hysteria in the youth. Do you believe he's guilty of that charge? Please cheer now. Yay! And if he's not guilty, please cheer now. Yay! In that case... <laughs> <laughs> Don't seriously look at their eyes. Do not. Don't even joke about it. They're filming from the eyes. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Oh, there's an image I won't get out of my head for a while. <laughs> um, right, so they said guilty on both charges. I, I found it hard to... Guilty on both charges, ladies and gentlemen. Guilty on both charges. <laughs> Mr. Dave Bartram of Show Woody Woody, you are sentenced to... Um, to... Death. What? <laughs> death eventually. De death eventually, yes. <laughs> uh, and and to, um, to spending the next six months hocking your uh, book around events like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and applause, Mr. Dale yeah, Bartram, well. as we send him down. <laughs> so, do we have time for any, any of the um, cases we couldn't have tried, didn't have time for? Uh, yes. The, the, the... Run, Dave, run! Could we also have the, could we also have the, clock, uh, the, car, the court uh, artist oh, yes, um, yes. as well? But, okay. But the thing, the thing... Um, another charge against Christine Davidson from Rob Davidson. I thought we wouldn't do the reverse of that match. Um, is everything has to be perfect, which is a very, very nice thing for a husband to write. And um, Dave Allison, who is the creator of this show, is a bit accused of having shit hair. I wouldn't. I would have refused to try that. You have lovely hair, David. So at uh, the end of the show, please uh, join me in thanking the prosecution, Deborah Francis Wright. The defence, Mr. Paul Foxcroft. I've been Tom Tuck, and please all rise. I show your appreciation for your honour, Mr. David Re David Reed, Howard Reed. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the clerk of the court, Mr. Tom Hardy.